Hi, I'm Michelle Kirby and a current student at Christian Leadership University in the Christian Counseling Program. I'm 58 years young and I've been enrolled at CLU since July 2019. I've completed 18 credit hours thus far in an enriching variety of courses. I've been asked by CLU to provide a blog of my journey. It is an honor to share. First, a little about myself. Um, I'm a seventh generation native Floridian, currently living across the continent between my Florida home and North Pole, Alaska. That's right, North Pole, Alaska. My husband, Paul, and I have an empty nest and are enjoying some dreams of our own for a few years here. My background is in education, earning both my bachelor's and master's degrees from Florida State University. Go Knowles! <laughs> um, but those degrees were earned in 1990 and 1993. That's been 26 years since I'd been in school and on the other side of the desk. I tried a doctoral program in educational technology a few years back, made the 1A, um, and backed out, figuring I'd never recover my financial investment. As time rolled on, I experienced great inner healing from old wounds of the past and came upon Dr. Verkler's free sample of Communion with God, which features the four keys to hearing God's voice post. I spent many lunch breaks watching and feeling the anointing of Dr. Verkler in this area. In response to an earnest desire and prayer to learn more about prayer, God sent me back around to dig in and watch those posts a second time. When I arrived up here in 2019, I jumped in and fully applied to CLU. I'll spend the next few blogs sharing out about the courses I've taken so far. The first course is Communion with God and is a terrific baseline for everything else. My instructor called me straight away, and I have enjoyed growing in a great mentorship with him. I found the course materials interesting and the assignments to be more than regurgitating the content. In fact, the courses pull in the four keys, uh, especially the fourth one for me was journaling on a regular basis. It's not like a diary at all. That is sharing your heart with God and writing what he says back. To this point, I'd been part of an inner healing prayer ministry which had taught three of the four keys very well. I had already learned to quiet myself, find Jesus, and tune to the spontaneous flow of Christ. It took me a while to surrender to the fourth key, for I had spent so many great times and months experiencing visions and dreams and was used to recording them later. I was concerned I would be losing something from the Lord. This was, of course, not true and a lie of the enemy. Actually, the Lord was moving me closer to him. I loved the audio which came with the program, but wish I'd bought the videos too. Either resource makes it easier to share with family and friends. I had the great pleasure to meet Dr. Verkler in person earlier this year. As we spent that brief hour and a half exchanging, I marveled at how Dr. Mark put the four keys into use so quickly with my son who had accompanied me there. I came in agreement with doctors, uh, Dr. Mark's vision that teaching others to hear God's voice is the most important thing for if we can help them hear God, for he's always speaking, he will take care of the rest. Finally, speaking to the finances of the courses, the university has a great finance program where you can break up the course in three payments. I've utilized this myself and sharing in case that is a concern for someone. I also know that if it's God's will that you learn and begin your program, a way is made. May the Lord bless you and keep you in your journey. Next time, I will be sharing about my experiences with Dr. Charity Verkler Kayembe's course, Hear God Through Your Dreams. I pray you will, in any event, pray continuously and read the Bible. These are life-giving and have changed my life. May the Lord bless you till next time.